Simone Manuel won an incredible swimming competition, the 100 meter freestyle. And the reason why this story is so relevant is not because of the fact that she won it, it's because of the fact that she is the first African American woman to win it. Now unfortunately, as you guys know, there have been a number of publications that write about the Olympics in a way that some deem offensive. And it's particularly noticeable in the headlines. So Mercury News is a prime example of this. They were writing about uh, Simone's win and the headline that they tweeted was the following. Uh, Olympics Michael Phelps shares historic night with African Americans. Mm. <laughs> wow. Okay. So people were upset about this and we'll get to you know the angry tweets in just a second. But I just want to make a point about how how not only historic this is, how it's something that breaks, you know, these myths and these stereotypes about black people in general, right? So in the United States, what people don't really realize, there's this stereotype that black people can't swim, right? And you hear it perpetuated and it drives me absolutely crazy when they don't even really know about the context of what black people have had to deal with in terms of swimming in the United States. Even after uh, the Supreme Court ruled on uh, Brown versus the Board of Education, which essentially desegregated our schools, pools in the U.S. were still segregated, right? And so the, the idea behind that was, well, you know, the pool situation is a little more sensitive than schools. So black people didn't have the same access to pools that white people did. Didn't have the same access to the ocean. Yeah. That's Beaches. right. Yeah. That's right. And so fast forward to today, you know, Simone winning you know, this competition is so symbolic, so historical, and to write about it in the way that Mercury News wrote about it is insensitive to say the least. Yeah, I feel well, like they, in the Olympics so far, right, because it doesn't happen that often, like people have just been so naive in the way they've been covering a lot of the, the topics in this, uh, in this competition. And the, the fact is, like, this is the case study for the worst, like, idea of journalism I've seen, because not only is it racist in a way, it's sexist as well. Like they don't put her name in it, but they yeah. put Michael Phelps' name in it, right? And mm -hmm. I understand Michael Phelps is the most decorated Olympian of all time. We have nonstop talked about Michael Phelps on TYT Sports. But when you have a record-breaking achievement that should be the forefront of your news, and that should be the way to draw in and try not to, in a way, kind of minimalize and belittle the achievement mm -hmm. by putting it next to Michael Phelps and then putting in the fact to try and draw people in is because She's next to an, he's next to an African-American. It's just like the journalistic integrity of a lot of sports writers throughout this competition. I, I'm baffled by it. Like the, the Chicago Bears, um, li, uh, the Chicago Bears, I think it was a lineman or something like that. I don't know. But his wife won a medal and the, the headlines everywhere was like, Chicago Bears lineman. The lineman's wife wins medal. Wins the competition, right? And it's just, it belittles these athletes because we're so naive to the Olympics and because we might not think it's the, the most important sport at times. We often just want to belittle it and just cover it as if it's just passing our, our page. All right, we'll just write this quick headline and then we'll get the Olympics it minimizes, out of the way. It minimizes their accomplishment. Yeah. And just put yourself in their shoes, right? You train and, and you win. All that hard work pays off and you get minimized to nothing more than a skin color but or a nationality life. or a race. You know, I just think I love when people are so astonished when they when they when they see racism and sexism, but because people of color were used to it, mm -hmm. like we're like ah, oh, oh, it wasn't Donald Trump's African American. They didn't stipulate which African American it was. But just a few days ago, David Chiarelli with the Italian said black people didn't swim. Mm -hmm. Yes, they, they don't. They don't have buoyancy. Mm -hmm. So he that's what he said because yeah. the black girl was like maybe the Italian girl who lost because she lost <laughs> and she didn't train like she was supposed to train with her little Oompa Loompa looking ass said, we should <laughs> paint ourselves black and maybe we can win. And, and you know, and that is, that's the kind of stuff that people think they laugh and they, and they celebrate or they retweet and they address, but those things are hurtful to people. Those are, you know, those are very hurtful. This is the, the we don't want to be po politically correct thing. She was like, I'm sorry, I make mistakes. That's not making a mistake. That's making a racist comment. Right. That's, and, this, and that I agree completely. This was probably a mistake in their, yeah. in their defense. I mean, this, is, uh, this was only showed up on the website. This is, but there are a couple things that work to what Francis said. Michael Phelps is the guy that you instinctively might include in a headline. It's Michael Phelps. He's right. always the biggest story in the Olympics. So mm -hmm. you give him 
and given, marijuana. Given, given that and mm -hmm. weed, right? Man, imagine how successful this guy could be if he didn't smoke weed. <laughs> um, if only he didn't smoke weed. Um, ruined his life. Ruined his life, totally. I stole that from somebody on Twitter. I don't remember who. Um, so, uh, um, uh, but, uh, so I get wanting to include Phelps in the headline. Uh, to their credit, they changed it pretty quickly. It didn't mm -hmm. show up, but this is the San Jose Mercury News, and that's yeah. really important that you know it's the San Jose Mercury News because then working against them, they took it down, they apologized, they fixed the headline. So it's just some, it's some inexperienced person, probably overwhelmed, cranking out Olympic headlines, right? Oh, Michael Phelps, oh, I got to include the black girl, right? Yeah. You know, he's probably patting himself on the back that he didn't say something hideous like, you know, Michael Phelps, black chick, win, yeah. you know. Yeah. That'll, he's like, right oh, look, look, look I, did, I said African-American, I win. No, but why you should then... What, what works against the San Jose Mercury News is that it's the San Jose Mercury News. That's Northern California. That's Stanford. Yeah. That's where she. Yeah. That's where yeah. she's from. Yeah. So, I mean, in a sense, that goes back the other way that Simone Manuel should be first. Yes. You know, yeah. Stanford athlete, first black American, first, first African American uh, to medal in swimming. Like, that's a headline. That's, yes. that's also Michael Phelps wins again. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, look, the argument, because Jenk and I had a, a long discussion on the show about how these headlines are written. And oftentimes, if there's a female competitor, um, she's not named in the headline. Her famous husband or athletic husband is named in the mm -hmm. headline instead, which, of course, takes away from the achievement. It minimizes her achievement, and it sucks. Like, anyone would be angry if they were placed in a, a situation like that. Um, but Jenk's argument was... Well, it's because these males are well known and the headlines are written in such a way that it'll get more attention. It'll mm -hmm. ha it'll lead to more viewership or, or readership. But in the case of this local paper, yeah. I mean, wouldn't you argue that a local individual who trained at a local school or went to a local school would get just as much yeah. Readers? Right. No question. I mean, yeah. no question. Yeah. They, they, but and they could have just included her name. Just yeah. include her name. They could exactly. still keep Michael Phelps. Totally. Yeah. Just, just like with yeah. the, there's a headline that could have been written, whatever that Bears lineman's name, yeah. wife's name was, who, of course, I don't know either, but I don't know the Bears Corey, lineman either. C Corey uh, Cordell. But you could have said, you know, uh, Anna Kasparian, wife of Bears lineman Christian Lopez. Yeah. That, you know, like you can get them both in. Yeah, the only oh form God, of. Can you imagine if I did something on the show that got attention and, pe <sighs> and people wrote the headline like, uh, yes. Wife of former baseball player Christian oh, totally. Lopez, yeah. I would fucking I'm, lose the my only, mind. The only, the only, I may I only refer to you to that as that going forward. The only, <laughs> the only devil's advocate I will play on that situation was it was the Chicago Tribune yeah, that yeah, posted yeah, yeah. that, and he plays with the Bears, so they were trying to make some sort of Bears Chicago connection, connection yeah, yeah, right? No so that I understand, but. I, if you watch the TYT sports clips, I'm ripping apart left, right, and center the coverage of it because uh, I'm sure JR will agree as well. Like, just the overall naivety of our coverage is so focused in, because it's not mainstream sports, yeah. because it's not American yeah. football, or it's not basketball or baseball, yeah. and we almost will disregard the, the effort that these Olympians have been putting in so that they can get their moment in the spotlight. Like, you can't yeah. take 10 minutes away to really do some more research and figure out the names yeah. and what their particular sports are so that you can... Take a break from LeBron James' statistics off season when he's eating breakfast. Like, and who the, cares at the moment? The sexism in time? Is is I think he had two eggs, bacon. Oh. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Oh, no, and the sexism is di disgusting at, with the Olympic coverage. That will you twirl around for us one time? Like the things that they say to the women is just. It is. Come on, man. Like we we're. Did they ask about that? They're asking yeah, that. there's a whole mon. There's a video, a montage video of all the sexist yeah. things that you <laughs> that have happened. And and one reporter tells a woman, "Will you twirl, twirl around?" For I us? remember that was the last uh, last time we covered the Olympics. Yes. Um, and I remember. Oh, yeah. okay, right. I don't know if this occurred during the Olympics. I apologize if my memory is not um, accurate here. But there was a volleyball player who had a breast reduction surgery, and that was it. That was the only thing that reporters wanted to talk to her about: her breast reduction surgery didn't matter how she performed didn't matter how that. athletic she was mm -hmm. it's incredible so yeah look there are certain things that women get more attention for and it's frustrating because that mm -hmm. again minimizes their achievements and their accomplishments especially when they're succeeding and they're winning these medals so what Ida said is is I think needs to be emphasized because there's no historical context here right I mean, not just swimming pools as you brought up Anna, yeah and not just the the beach access but in 1987 which was the 40th anniversary of Jackie Robinson breaking the color line in baseball. Uh, famously, the general manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers, which was the, the organization that signed Jackie Robinson and had been sort of the best at, at black athletes on the field and an overwhelmingly uh, Latino fan base, significant Latino fan base. And he goes on Nightline 
and very famously talked about how why there wouldn't be a black manager is because they don't have the intellectual capacity to manage right. the game. And then, as dumb as that was, it got dumber because he said it's like swimming. They have no buoyancy. Mm -hmm. Like this was, and this is a, this is a, the GM of the Dodgers, you know, and, uh, and a guy who did, ha had signed black players and signed them because he thought it was important that we went out and brought Latino and black and brown players into the majors and just no one had told him no, man, your skin color doesn't affect uh, whether you uh, can swim. Oddly, weirdly, yes. weirdly, forgot. pigmentation doesn't affect ability to stay up in water. <laughs> Not um, to mention that we've been swimming here for a very long time. That's right. That's right. Uh, Latino, <laughs> black and brown alike. Uh, yeah. Those Cubans that came from the, that fell off the boat during the Mario boat lift. They yeah. had to swim part of the way. And, uh, and uh, there was a nice little boat ride that came from Africa where some people had to do some swimming on there, too. So I think it's so... Interesting, to, but yeah, it's all about historical. But content. making 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 Simone Manuel's triumph in the pool again a moment of particular celebration. In yes. America. That's a small thing. I'm sorry, this is way too long on this. But this is the one part about it. When someone says, "Oh, it's a racist thing to do," when you ignore her and then put up Michael Phelps, who, by the way, at least in that particular particular picture we had, he wasn't in the image. No. Who's Michael Phelps? Where is he? Who cares? Put his name out there. If your thought is for click purposes, let's get more people's reading it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But that shows sometimes when you're racist and sometimes when you overlook people, it's not just because you're going, <laughs> oh, I hate those N-words. But what happens is you overlook their existence. Mm -hmm. right. They don't matter. And they don't matter so much you didn't realize that they don't matter. So it's not always just this anger. It's just you, you missed it because you don't even care about you their don't see it. Yeah, you don't see them. Someone say, I don't see color. That's a problem. Right. Yeah. You should start seeing it and understand and recognize it and understand what she did and the greatness that she had. Yeah. We don't like to do it.